A dispute between neighbors turns violent in Stark County after police say a man opens fire in broad daylight, shooting a father of two. Autumn Ziemba just back from Perry Township with more in this bizarre story. Autumn? Yes, it is. Now, the victim's family tells me he is at Mercy Medical Center, where he will undergo surgery to try to save the vision in his right eye. All of this after police say his neighbor shot him unprovoked. He kept watching the house. We'd see him watching while we were outside all the time. Lucy Sprangle doesn't want us to show her face. She tells me her family has been terrorized, not by some stranger, but her own neighbor here on Fairlawn Avenue in Perry Township. She was home with her two young grandchildren Sunday afternoon when her son-in-law, 21-year-old Levi Hatton, stepped outside. In that moment, Perry Township police say 65-year-old Roger Smith stepped off his front stoop, aimed, and fired. I heard a crack and some crackles and the whole wall shook, the glass shook. Levi came flying in, yelled, I've been shot, and fell on the floor. The impact so powerful that the evidence is left all over Lucy's siding and front door. It's shocking to see uh, somebody do this at random like like this. Police Chief Michael Pomeski tells me the shooting was completely unprovoked, but Lucy says not unforeseen. In fact, police say Smith has a history of menacing. One night he yelled, he yelled out that somebody in the house was going to get shot tonight. A few months ago, uh, our neighbor had told him that he was, uh, he was going to shoot him. Diana Sparkman lives next door to Smith and tells me her oldest son heard the threats, but it was her youngest son who witnessed Sunday's violence. Neighbors don't always get along, but there's, no, there's just no room for this. And my son had to be a witness to this. It, it just makes it even more disgusting. The shooting is obviously devastating to Lucy's family, but she tells me with two young grandchildren inside her home and many others in this neighborhood, it could have been much worse. The buckshot, the way it hit, and the way it peppered Levi and the house, if it had hit a two-and-a-half-year-old, I'd imagine it had been a lot more serious. Now lives are forever changed, as is this once quiet street. And Smith is facing multiple charges, including felonious assault and improperly discharging a firearm. He is in the Stark County Jail on a $500,000 bond. Bill and Jennifer. Okay, Autumn Zamba reporting from the newsroom tonight.